live and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man, D-Real, coming at you with another B-Real with D-Real, where edutainment is what I do. Okay. Um, I don't know why I did that weird, freaky, creepy intro. It sounded creepier than what I normally do. But um, I, that is kind of to set the tone for what I am going to be talking about today. Today, I think I am going to go a little bit off the rails. Um, with a little ditty I call Freaky 4 plus 1. Um, not to be confused with Funky 4 plus 1. Shouts out to MC Shy Rock. Um, it's about some of the four of the freakiest things I have ever seen and or heard of in all of comic -dom. And to this very day, it's still like a, a, a holy crap moment when I think about these different events that took place. Okay, uh, you want to hear the plus one first or you want to hear the freaky, freaky four first? Let, you know what? Let's go with the plus one first because the freaky four is just going to take it on home. But the plus one event that, that's one of like the weirdest, strangest, over the toppest things, one of, I'm not saying the, but one of the weirdest, strangest things I have ever seen was when the Punisher steamrolled Wolverine. Steamrolled. What? precipitated such a grisly event? It's Frank Castle, man. Frank Castle doesn't need an excuse to, 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 to just eviscerate and murder. It's, it's what he does. He's the Punisher. Now, Wolverine supposed to be the very best there is of what he does, but he got taken, by, taken down by a regular old guy with, with a grumpy attitude and a lot of guns. Now, this story takes place in uh, the, 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 the Marvel Max series, the Marvel Knights version of Punisher, issue 16 and 17, uh, which is done by Garth Ennis. Anybody who's ever read a Preacher comic book knows how Garth Ennis gets down. Anybody who's ever read anything visceral and just grody by Garth Ennis knows that's what Garth Ennis does. Him and Brian Azzarella. Now, um, first, before he got to this grizzly event and they were having it out, he took a shotgun, or rather Wolverine took a shotgun, point blank range to the face, blew all the flesh off. Then shot him in the nags. And then that's when the steamroller thing happened. Yeah. That is that that is grotesque. <laughs> For a comic book. That is fucking grotesque, man. But um the next event is even uh more grotesque because um well I ain't gonna say grotesque but it's just like it's deplorable to see in comics and that was uh the abuse of Janet Van Dyne aka the wasp at the hands of her crazy ass husband Hank Pym. Now this took place in um at least it started going on as of Avengers uh, number 213, I believe it was, back in 1981. We know that Yellow Jacket, a.k.a. Hank Pym, is off his damn rocker. Uh, he's exposed to some kind of gas at some point, uh, I think when he first became Yellow Jacket. As a matter of fact, being exposed to the experimental gas is what kind of gave him this disassociative personality disorder, and he decided he'd become Yellow Jacket. And then Yellow Jacket was a whole entirely different persona from Hank Pym. And, and, and Janet knew who he was 
and went on ahead and married him anyway, even though at the time he was a little bit off. Can you imagine being exposed to some gas? And then when you come, you know, when you get your senses back, you're married. That would only serve to make me further crazy. <laughs> but later on in his career, you know, Yellow Jacket is struggling to keep to hold his own in the Avengers. And and like I said, he's feeling the stress from it. He's dealing with he had just got done dealing with an Ultron situation. He's always dealing with an Ultron situation. Ultron is like the bad son that won't never go away. And just did some asshole stuff. Period. That's all it can be called. And this is how it went down. Yeah. Ain't Pim, he, he, he's a whole dog. He's a whole dog. I mean, how do you think that affected fans of Hank Pym? Or were there people who were fans of Hank Pym? I don't know. Hank Pym, to me, Goliath, Yellow Jacket, Ant-Man, he was cool. But he to me, he was always just a also-ran type character. Yeah, you get big, you get small, and every now and then you come up with some kind of cool scientific stuff. There's like 10 people like that in the Avengers. You know what I'm saying? So what else do you do, bro? Now, that was pretty bad. But worse than that, Gwen Stacy sleeping with and having children by Norman Osborn. This grody story took place in Amazing Spider-Man 509 through 514. Uh, Mary Jane's recalling a story to him about something that was told there because Peter never knew. Peter never knew that his girlfriend, who was a virgin, who he loved so much, gave it up to Norman Osborn, who also happened to be his arch enemy the Green Goblin, and knew Peter's identity, had children who grew up to become murderous, gadget, goblin-packing folks they self. Um, and it's just the images, man, the images and the thought process in, in, in Peter's mind of how he he he's visualizing how it went down. And it's just like, oh, and then we're looking at it on the page and we're like, oh, and then it's like, oh. That was a freaky one. I, I'm, yeah. It, it's still unsettling to me because I, Norman Osborn, Gwen? Norman Osborn. Of all the people, I'd have been cool with Harry. I'd have been cool. I, mean, I would have been cool with it. Or I'd have been cool with Flash. Or it, that would have been a little more, you know what I'm saying? Norman Osborn is just creepy. And then the person that Norman Osborn went on to become, uh, that's your bloodline. That's your cheering. Uh. Yeah. Moving on. Okay. Grosser still than that. <laughs> the event in Ultimate Comics, affectionately known as Twin Cest. Yeah. Yeah. It took place in Ultimates number three. Um Captain America is asking Wanda, the Scarlet Witch, about her provocative clothing and why she's dressed like that. And Petro immediately jumps in and is like, you need to back up off my sister. If you don't back up off my sister, I don't care if you're Captain America. I'll look you up. And he had that kind of reaction and they left together. And Cap's like, hmm. Oh, that was a really emotional reaction. And, you know, and the wasps trying to explain to him, they got a special kind of love. Oh, yeah, so the love between a brother and sister. No, Steve, your old ass don't understand. They got a special 
kind of love. That's that Targaryen love. <laughs> That's what it is. It's the incestuous, horrid type of thing. You, you boning your sister. You boning your brother. Shame. Ding, ding. <laughs> Shame. Ding, ding. But you know what? That was that that was the point at which the Ultimates had decided, okay, or, or the 1610 universe, we just gonna start murdering our folks in a grisly way because we can. And you know, Wasp got ate up by the uh by Blob. You know, there's a whole bunch of grisly things going on, but that that's got to be the, the top of the food chain. And now my number one freakiest situation in all of comics well to me uh carol danvers getting seduced and raped by her father son yes father son okay <laughs> here's how this went down it took place in avengers 195 through uh 200 um Immortus, you know, the guy, Lord of all time. Well, arguably, him and Cain, they always argue about who's the Lord of time. But anyway, um, Immortus got the clever idea to put himself inside of Carol Danvers and make her pregnant with him. He grew and became a man in like like the span of a couple of days. And then there was all kind of crazy out of time adventures. And, and of course, it was the big 200th issue of the Avengers. And this was going down too. And Marcus slash Immortus confessed his love for Carol Danvers, but he really had control over her and none of her Avengers homies knew it. And they took her and, and they went back to limbo together and he was in limbo just to having a good old time. <laughs> and she was like purple man the whole time. You know, and she manages to get back here only to be bushwhacked by Rogue. And then she loses all of the memories. And then she gets the memories back. Can you imagine? You know what I'm saying? The trauma. The, the, the trauma. Yo, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Freaky 4 Plus 1. What did y'all think about it? I know it's stuff you've heard before. I know my OGs out there know all about this. But if you're young and you just, you know, if this is fun, this is fresh to you, go pick them books up, man, and read it for yourself and experience it the same way we experienced it. Dig in the video, drop it in the comment. And as always, I will be coming at you with another one of them other ones. And until I do, y'all be good. Be good to each other.